Today we're checking out 731 Wexford Drive here in the Creekside subdivision just to the east side of Lafayette. It's a five bedroom, three and a half bath, 4,600 square foot home. Let's go in and check it out. It's a five bedroom, three and a half bath home. The primary is here on the main floor, three bedrooms upstairs, one in the bathroom. It's got a home gym, an amazing vaulted ceiling, great room, and some really cool spaces around the house. When you walk in, you're greeted by this great room. And it's really kind of hard to show how big and airy this room feels because it just towers up above. You can see here, the windows continue up to about the 16 foot mark and these have got to be 20 foot ceilings in here. Now the great room has this gas fireplace and it's got the super high mirror on top of it. And what's really cool about this fireplace is that it's actually double sided and we're gonna see the other side of it when we head over towards the kitchen area. I'm rather a big fan of this kitchen setup. So it kind of takes Eden kitchen to the extreme. You can see that we have the island surrounding the gas stove here with all of the modern stainless steel appliances and sink. But on top of that, you've got the breakfast bar at the island. You have a breakfast nook. And on top of that, there's a den area that is attached to the kitchen area. So it really takes Eden Kitchen to the next level. You can see the breakfast nook here adjacent to the island in the kitchen. And then attached to, to all of this is the den area. So just to give a little perspective, here's the den area. You can see the stove and the island here. And then there's this den that's part of the eat-in kitchen area. So if you enjoy socializing while you're cooking, it just really is something that you don't see every day. So we were talking about the double-sided fireplace over in the great room, and here's the other side of that double-sided. It comes through into the den here in the kitchen area. Right off of the den and breakfast nook is a sliding door that opens out onto the patio area. Just out of the sliding door off the kitchen area, we have this great pergola on the paver stone patio out here. And the patio is multi-level, so you got the pergola over here where you can do some alfresco dining, but then you can also step down into the sunken sitting area. Not every home has a pantry these days, believe it or not. So having a full-size walk-in pantry is a bigger deal than you might think it is. And then of course we have the half bath here just off of the kitchen area. The laundry room is no slouch here. You have your washer on dryer on pedestals here at the end of the laundry room, and then a large counter space here to take care of laundry. And it's just off of the entrance to the garage, so it can kind of double as a mud room as well. The formal dining room opens right off of the entryway. And then the, where the camera is at is actually looking at the kitchen. So it's all very well connected. And, you know, a lot of homes don't have formal dining rooms anymore. A lot of families don't use formal dining rooms, but this one doesn't feel oppressive or unused. You know, it's part of the house. It's connected to the flow of the house. One of the most requested features that we hear about is having the primary suite on the main floor, not up on the second floor or in the basement on the main floor. And this house delivers on that. It's got a primary suite here on the main, just off of the entryway. It has a large room without being gigantic. I've been in some primary suites that are like, wow, it's a whole house into itself. And if that works for you, that's fantastic, but it can be a lot of wasted space. So this room is large without feeling too big. It's got the sliding door that's got its own deck that looks out over the backyard. And it's got its own ensuite bath. This particular ensuite actually has two walk-in closets of relatively equal size. So often when we see these ensuite setups, it'll be a short little connecting hallway between the on between the primary bedroom and bath. And the two closets are off of that short little connector hallway. And a lot of times you'll see one really big one and really one really small one. And you know, stereotypically that's gonna be, hey, look, there's the, the woman's closet and there's the man's closet. We know those are stereotypes and not always true, but they're not necessarily equal in size. These are, and you know, it can be a small thing, but uh, if you're anything like me, I don't have a little amount of clothes. I might have more than my wife. So having equal size closets, bigger deal than you might think. We've got the soaker tub with the window above, the separate shower. And one of my favorite features is dual vanities, but they're split. So you actually get your own vanity, but there are two of them. There's one sink here, and on the other side of the door is the other sink. 
I see so many homes where the sinks are right next to each other, and I can just imagine when you're brushing your teeth and you're elbowing each other. So I think having the split sinks is a fantastic setup. And here we are just outside the sliding door that comes out of the primary suite onto its private second story deck. Now keep in mind that this is a walkout. So when I say second story deck, when you come in on the main floor and the main entrance, you're on the first floor and the primary is on that floor. So by the time you get to the back of the house, it's actually the second story. You haven't changed stairs. You haven't gone up or down. It's just how the house is inset into the uh, geography around. So you're on your own private deck with your own stairway down. So remember that this is a walkout. So when you go in on the first floor, when you come out the back, it's actually the second floor. And these stairs here are the stairs from the private deck from the primary suite. So let's head up the stairs and we're going to check out three more of the bedrooms and one more of the bathrooms that are up there. When you get to the top of the stairs, you open up into this common area. You could set it up as a den, as a study area, as an office, as a playroom, as a toy room, whatever your needs might be. And it actually kind of feels like a room. So many times when you get to the top of the stairs, it's like, it's just a large landing. And you can't really make use of the space because of the way the stairs line up with one of the walls. This feels like a room. One of the most interesting features of this second story is this bedroom here. It is as big as some primary suite bedrooms. It is not a suite. It doesn't have an ensuite bathroom. It is just a large bedroom. And what makes it large is in addition to the bedroom area that we're kind of right in front of here are these two nooks that are off of it. So this one they kind of have set up as a dry bar. And over here they've got this nook set up as a little den or reading area. So this is a great room for maybe a, an older kid, a teenager, maybe a mother-in-law that wants a little more of their own space, but you don't want to have the full separate complex and an auxiliary dwelling unit. You just need a large bedroom. I think it's kind of a cool room. And then of course we have the other secondary bedrooms here on the second floor. We have the pink and purple room and we have the mauve room. The full bathroom here on the second story has dual basin sinks so your kids can be brushing their teeth at the same time. And it's got a separate door dividing the shower and toilet from the sinks so you can maintain use of the sinks even when somebody's in the shower. Next, we're gonna head downstairs to check out the spaces down there. The stairs are just off of the kitchen. So down here on this side of the basement, there's kind of one long room that they have subdivided into kind of three sub areas. They have a home theater over here with the large screen TV. This is probably a 90 inch TV over here and with the theater style lights and the sectional couch here, it really kind of makes a great home theater setup. But then the rest of the room is over here. This middle part of the room they have set up as a game table. So if you want to come play some poker and then over in the last corner, they currently have set up as an office, but it's a walkout basement. So you actually have a sliding door here off of the current office area that goes out to a patio that goes out uh, to the side yard. And then this is the patio from the walkout in the basement. And the house has dual zone climate control with two massive compressors, one for the main floor and one for the second story. You're not going to be hurting for air conditioning in this house. There is one bedroom here down in the basement. So if you want to send somebody down to the basement for punishment or they just want to get away from the rest of the family, you can camp out down here. And there is one full bath here down in the basement with a shower. To support that theater and game table, you need a bar. And they've got a wet bar down here in the basement with a sink, wine rack, and you're ready to go for a game night or a movie night. But there's more, as if this was an as seen on TV commercial. They have this bonus room down here set up as a home gym, and these guys take it pretty seriously. They have the treadmill and the elliptical, the bags, the weight bench, the full nine yards. You can set this up as a home gym. You can make it a dance studio. You can rip everything out and make it an office, but it is just another large space waiting to be made yours. So that's 731 Wexford Drive in the Creekside subdivision, just on the east side of Lafayette. I'm Jeff Gooch, and I'd love to be your Lafayette local real estate resource of choice. Please reach out and let me help you find a home here in the Lafayette area. Leave a comment in the comments below, and all of my contact information is down there.